say what is my type i feel like <laughs> well i mean you type quickly sometimes i feel like i don't have a type <laughs> i don't know if i'm the kind of person who just goes with the flow i i don't know <laughs> oh my goodness oh my goodness guys do you ever look back at everything that god has done for you and are like hey i'm grateful i'm grateful ah! <laughs> that is so me right now yeah i'm just in that spirit of gratitude ah, i'm so grateful i'm grateful for you guys for the support that you have been showing me imagine watching my content now you see what watching liking subscribing and even taking the time to leave a comment why wouldn't i be grateful why wouldn't i be grateful huh? i do appreciate i do appreciate from the bottom of my heart i am grateful i do not take it for granted as i always say anyway guys welcome back to my youtube space my good name is gift nasimu if you are a new subscriber or you're watching me for the first time gift nasimu is my name and if you are a returning subscriber welcome back babe welcome back anyway guys okay i need to be comfortable so i've never done a get to know me q and a and as you've read from the title this is what the video is all about so i just want to you know let you in on my space and give you a few secrets about myself spill the beans about myself <laughs> anyway without wasting time let's just get to it and ask a jot already so i have the questions here uh, so i'll just be basically reading and answering and then to everyone who is even taking their time to reach out to me on instagram i also appreciate by the way i appreciate i appreciate i appreciate those who are asking for advice those who've gone through what i went through we got this we got this we got this uh, so i touch that to meji hurumia life has to move on so yeah on to the first question what is your official name age and do i have any siblings yeah so i just have two names that is gift nasimiu eh eh age <laughs> ah, sweet 16 guys sweet 16 where nikona age guys nikona i'm 20 something yeah i'm 20 something years old <laughs> that's the way they say that ladies never tell their ages yeah this is where i use the line i use that line yeah do i have any siblings yes i do i have three siblings i actually have a twin sister by the way and then i have a small bro and an a big sis yeah so to go to evil watatu and then i've been raised by a single mom so our, our family is just evil to go to evil higher the next one what is my height i am five three uh what did i study in uni and how did i end up in content creation ah interesting enough i did study finance and then how did i end up in content creation uh let me just say it's something that i i do enjoy i enjoy creating content for you guys <laughs> generally just creating content so i thought like why not if it's something that i love why not but i mean i've done uh I don't know i'm not really pursuing uh what i studied but for me i'm the kind of person who just goes for any opportunity that comes my way ha huh. what has been my biggest highlight so far uh to be honest i don't know i feel like that is kind of general but i think just being where i am at this point in time i feel like it has been my biggest highlight like i don't have any specific thing that i'd say oh this is my biggest highlight because i feel like i'm the kind of person who will embrace life at whatever point i am in so right now i'm just basically uh just embracing all my wins where i am what god has done for me the opportunities that are to come uh in maybe weeks or months or years like i'm just 
I'm just all about that. So for me, like, I don't have any specific thing that I can say this has been my biggest highlight. But I feel like uh, from how I was raised up and to where I am right now, because I mean, life has not been rosy. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Life has life has not been rosy growing up because if you're from a single uh parent household you know how things can get hard but i feel like god has been so faithful in putting me out there uh giving me opportunities and for me that is that is enough for me bonanza ko emotional ah any regrets in life Hmm. No, I don't have any regrets in life. As a matter of fact, for me, I'm always like, if I mess up, I have learned. I will not repeat it. So nothing to regret. Life is too short to keep on regretting and just feeling bad about things that you've done that you can't even control. So no, 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 no regrets in life. Mm -hmm. hey, what is my type? Type of car, I'm a type of what? What is my type? I feel like <laughs> well, I mean kind of type quickly. Sometimes I feel like I don't have a type. <laughs> I don't know if I'm the kind of person who just goes with the flow. I I don't know. But most of the time I feel like I'm normally open to anything and everything. But uh my non-negotiables of course nikonazo for me i just want like my type is basically if you're to ask about a man someone who is just generally generous kind because kindness goes a long way uh clean um one with a vision one who can lead i feel like those are my non-negotiables in a man. But generally, I just go with Mimi. I can get short, tall, plump, petite, as long as, like, these are non-negotiables in a Like, in terms of body type, I don't really have a type. I'm not the kind of girl who would say that, oh, I want a man when you see chest equaje, see oh, to do tall, dark, and hands up, no, that is not my vibe. If I get, fine. If I don't, it's not a big deal for me. Uh, I look at the heart. <laughs> I look at the heart. Anyway, uh, the next question. How am I coping up with everything? Uh, to be honest, I'd say that I'm at a safe space right now. And I'm just generally happy like i don't really like i'm done feeling bad about all that happened and i'm like you know what because you know uh one thing that i didn't even mention is that i saw it coming because i am a very very prayerful woman and you know when you get to know what people have had planned behind their behind your back and you beat them at their own game I know like it leads to some kind of bitterness and stuff but generally i am i am doing okay doing okay like which option do i have i don't have any option so i'm just trying my best to just keep going mm. things will just fall into place uh do i plan on rekindling 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 i don't know the friendship <sighs> like the the old friendship, which I say the old friendship. If you don't know what I'm talking about at this point, you can just go and watch my, my previous videos, then you'll get to understand. But to be honest, I don't, because I feel like I am tired of having to go through the same cycle over and over again. And it's time that I put myself first. As most of you had even like told me, like, oh girl, put yourself first, love yourself. So that is what I'm about to do, and that's on it, period. <laughs> yeah, so I don't plan on on doing that to be honest because you no know, just like it doesn't make sense the, like the friendship doesn't make sense so there's no need of wasting each other's time <laughs> yeah uh the next question what is the greatest lesson learned from the friendship breakup uh i'd say actually uh 
one of you reached out to me yesterday on my instagram please please if you've not followed me on instagram please go stalk a girl gifts underscore nasimiu is my handle anyway so there's one of my subscribers reached out and she was like you know uh, I'm, I'm, I've just had like experienced a friendship breakup. How do I go about it? I'm so hurt and Whew. so friendship breakup is actually a thing. So the greatest lesson that I've learned from my friend, the friendship breakup, is to just put myself first. And in situations where I feel like there has been maybe disrespect or boundaries have been crossed, it is okay to just take a step back. If at all we can't solve it then it is okay to end the friendship like it is okay that is what i've learned and then if it is not being reciprocated then it is as good as dead like we can just end it so that is something that i've had to learn the hard way hey, hey. i did saw some people in my comment section saying why wow, gifts when you didn't learn the first time mona how would you paint it i don't know but this time round trust me i have learned i have learned and have moved on and yes, I'm at a safe space. The next question, I'm almost winding up. What is that life-changing situation that shaped you? Uh, as I've mentioned, I think just being raised by a single mom and just seeing how hard life was, it just made me like try to figure things out as fast as I could because I have to figure out well how do I help out because how can I chip in how can I take care of myself like I feel like just being raised in such a, a, a setup really shaped who who I am yeah like those challenges those challenges have really really shaped me and it's not like to say that akunanga like positive moments in like being raised by a single parent of course kuna kuna zile wins then you celebrate together of course muna feel like closely knit and stuff but the challenges that i faced hmm but all in all i'm not complaining i'm grateful that we soldiered on we soldiered through and here i am yeah here i am so yeah because hey shout out to my mom like i love that woman i appreciate the effort because she managed to take all of us to school unona and we are both like trying to figure our lives out like chasing the bug and all like she really she really really tried so for me that is what like that is what i can say has been a life changing situation for me higher any plans for 2024 for me uh of course <laughs> i wouldn't like really share them publicly but I do have my vision board. I have everything that I've manifested. And now at this point in time, I'm just like, God, Nime, let's go take control. Because you have a, a, a plan for me already. You have a script for me. So like right now, I'm in that space where I'm just praying that whatever I'm manifesting, I'm, whatever I'm trusting God for, is in line with the plan that he has for me. And I'm just praying for patience so that I don't like feel like giving up before. I get to like see what he, the plans that he has for me. So I do have a lot of plans, even for in terms of content creation, in terms of where I'd, I'd want to be. But Nimiatia God. Higher. And the last one is what am I grateful for? Wow. First of all, I'm grateful for, for the gift of life, for the opportunity to just see another day. And keep on trying. What I always tell myself is, by the time the day ends, like if God just allows me to see the next day, just by doing so, He has given me an opportunity to just put my best foot forward. Like, and I cherish those moments, kabisa, kabisa. Like me waking up and I'm like, wow, God wants me to try again. And He has like He's holding my hand. So I'm grateful, eh, grateful for the gift of life, gift of family. For my YouTube family, like I am so so grateful for you guys and the support that you have been according me, Zubulem Nasama, like you can't wait to watch me grow. I, I do not take it for granted. I'm just grateful for preservation, protection, and and all that. Like where I'm grateful. Like if I was to like list all of the things that I'm grateful for, I'd run out of words because God has he's done a lot for me. Yeah. 
and I'm really, really grateful. Mm. 2024, we are going big. We are going big. We are going big. Anyway, guys, you have come to the end of the video. I don't know if I answered most of the questions about myself. Unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately, I'm unfortunately, we have come to the end of the video. I'm hoping that you did enjoy this get to know me video. I'm not sure if I answered all the questions, but I hope I did. In case you have any other question, you can just drop it and I'll be happy to address it. But before we even check out, hmm? shout out to Jirongo Imelda. Eh? Please, guys, let's get her to 500 subscribers. Mona, she has been commenting in most of my videos and she was like, Yeah, Aki, please give me a shout out. Jirongo Imelda, shout out to no he. Please, guys, let's get her to 500 subscribers. And if at all you'll fall in love with her content, eh? please watch, like, comment. Eh? We support each other. Sindion. Anyway, guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you so, so much for always allowing me to just be myself. Be myself. Be myself. Thank you for the feedback, for the positive comments. As usual, if you feel like there's some content that you'd want me to do, eh, please <laughs> feel free to just suggest in the comment section and I'll be happy to, to, to do so. Eh, I on a blend in a shine, in a glow. I said, I'm going to put my imagine. Ni God, ni God. I'm just glowing and growing. Eh. Hey! glowing and growing yeah anyway guys that is it for today's video thank you so much for loving on me supporting me and just generally being there and please don't forget me eh don't forget to come and stalk me on instagram gifts underscore nasimu is my handle of course i will uh leave it somewhere here at least you know, come stalk me, say hi to me. Najwa. Wish me well in the DM and eh. Now come back to skip kunini ku end the video, but yeah, I have to. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Oh, but there this neat of this jacket, I mean it or what? Really looks good on me. Ama. <laughs> hey yeah, guys, that is it for today's video. I'll catch you in the next one.